See, we need to stop arguing with heathen. They're not going to change. Let's look over here in the Shepherd of Hermas, translated by William Wake. We're down here in Similitude 6, which is the parable that explains what happens after we decide to become obedient to the Father. Once we decide to start obeying his covenant, which is Exodus chapter 20 through 23. Hermes is asking the angel of repentance, why doesn't everybody repent? Everybody is given the opportunity to repent and become obedient and start following the covenant, preparing themselves to survive the tribulation. But if you remember this parable, similar to six, most people didn't. A lot of people after receiving that rod turned them in messed up. Some were blasphemous, some were lying teachers, some were false prophets, some were bitter, scandalous. Even though most of them took the opportunity to obey the law, a lot of them didn't. And so Hermes is like, why? Why didn't they? Those instructions given to Moses for us are perfect. They allow us to be safe. They allow us to be prosperous. They allow us to be healthy. Why would anybody not want anything to do with those commandments? The covenant. Exodus chapter 20 to 23. Well, you see here. The angel of repentance answer. He says. Those minds the Lord foresaw would be pure. That they would serve him with all their hearts. To them he gave repentance. See this is what the scripture is talking about. When he says no man can boast. We can't boast that we are law abiding citizens of the kingdom of heaven. You see right here. This verse clearly lets us know. That it is our father who gives us the opportunity to partake in his law. Therefore, we can't be boastful about it. It is because he saw our minds pure and that we would serve him with all of our hearts. That's why we ever had the chance to repent and become lawful citizens. Our father gave us repentance. And if we are obeying the law now, we accepted that gift of repentance. But let's look at the other guys, the ones I refer to as heathen. Now, don't think bad of me for using that word. A heathen and a Gentile is the same thing. A Gentile is just a nice way of saying heathen, but both, neither of them obey the commandments given by Moses. By definition, if you don't obey the commandments given by Moses, you are a heathen. And I started this video off saying we should stop arguing with heathens and we can see why here in verse 48. He says, but those whose deceit and wickedness he beheld and perceived that they would not truly return unto him. To them he denied any return unto repentance, lest they should again blaspheme his law with wicked words. This is why we have to stop arguing with heathen. They're never going to change. You can show them verse after verse on how the scripture tells us that we should be obedient to the law. But because they have wickedness in their heart, because they have deceit in their heart, deceit and wickedness in their minds. And our father in heaven knew that they would not truly return unto him. He denied any return to repentance. He didn't allow them to repent. You see verse after verse over here in the book of Romans on boasting in relationship to the law. I am sure I am guilty of this myself because there was a time when I thought that it was my choice that I embraced the law and became obedient to the covenant. But we learn over here in the Shepherd of Hermes that it is really no room to boast because that decision was in no way up to me. 
I was offered repentance by the Father. And those individuals who are rejecting the law are quite pitiful in that they was not allowed to repent and they were not allowed to embrace the law because our father knew their hearts and knew their mind saw their wickedness and their deceit and saw that they would eventually start to blaspheme his law again it's like they would take on his law for a moment and start to walk in it but as soon as they found themselves in agreement with something listed in the law they would start to blaspheme the law and you can see how that would be detrimental to their loved ones or the people that listen to their teachings one day they're talking about being obedient to the law and then the next day they're blaspheming the law that could really harm people so I can understand why the father denied them the opportunity to walk in the law in the first place this all reminds me of what it says over there in Matthew chapter 10 verses 4 through 6 when the Messiah sent his disciples out to go minister to people look what he told them there in verse 5 he says go not into the way of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not so you have to understand who these two people are like we said the Gentiles are heathen people who don't know the Lord at all they don't know the law they don't understand the scripture and what the Bible is all about those people who don't seem to get it no matter how many verses you show them how many passages you bring out they're just not going to get it they are Gentiles they are heathen but then he's also talking about the Samaritans these are people who understand what the law is but they are disobedient to it that's the difference between a Gentile and a Samaritan one knows the law one doesn't both are disobedient but you see here that the Messiah is telling his disciples not to go try to teach either one people that are disobedient to the law don't waste your time on them he says but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel being Israel means to obey the law and to keep the covenant so our Messiah is telling us to seek out these individuals people that are already obeying the law teach them it also reminds me of how Revelation says let the wicked stay wicked the father doesn't want us arguing with heathen so let's stop arguing with heathen